What's up, everybody? I had my first interview for a networking position, and uh, you know, I started this channel just to kind of document my journey. And I thought, yeah, I'll I'll post how the interview went. So I interviewed for a network administrator or um, or an engineer position, and I cannot say that it went well. Now the guy seemed to really like me, so he was asking. You know, the first question was, what made you get into IT? I answered, like, I just like the kind of the vastness of it all. I feel like I can learn forever. It's, you know, you're never going to run out of stuff to learn, blah, blah, blah. Had a good answer. I mean, he liked my answer so much that he, like, reiterated it later in the interview that that was such a good answer. So it's not like the guy didn't like me <laughs> now. He basically just told me I didn't know what I was doing. Um, not in those words. He he was very nice, very fair. So what happened was he sent me first uh, six questions. And I can't share the questions because they're confidential and everything. So, But there were questions like, this server's down, what do you do? Um, the DHCP server's down, how do you know that? Like you have other people or whatever stuff like that but they weren't that simple they were a little more complicated and I actually probably took like an hour or two just to answer these six questions so they were hard questions I researched them he said I got five out of six right but that's with like heavy googling and he even he kind of commended that he said you know all the best network engineers they're googling all the time it's almost like that's more of the skill you actually need to know is how to research something on Google. So, you know, I'm feeling like, okay, but, but he had this list and, uh, I'll go over a little bit of the list. It is a list of skills and he had me rate how I felt my skills were one to 10. And this is one thing. I almost feel like this is a misconception or, or a lie amongst the network youtubers or people online saying hey get your ccna it's so easy you pass the test and then you have a job that pays you eighty thousand a year that's not really the truth of it and i feel like people are a little dishonest with how easy they make it sound because it is not just the ccna that you need to know it is not just cisco stuff you need to know it is a lot more than that to become a network engineer now a network technician i don't know i didn't interview for that and I, I put out about 150 applications and I got an interview. So not that bad, really. I don't have technical experience like that. Just uh, customer support, basically. Anyways, so here's the list of IT skills. And I, I'll put this in the description. So this is what I had to rate myself on. And it is embarrassing. <laughs> so Windows desktop support. Yeah, I'm pretty good at that. Mac, pretty good at that. Linux, hardly ever. I mean, I, I plan to get to it, but I just haven't gotten to it. So networking, here's the list. Peer network, domain network, configuring user profiles, GPO, which is group policy something, printing uh, setup, cabling patch panels, network setup, network troubleshooting, network security, security auditing, VLAN routing, managed switches. So that is just the networking section. Now... I'm okay at some of those. I wouldn't say I'm a 10 at any of them. You know, maybe a 6 at some. Um, like I only have my JNCIA, so I have my Juniper Network certified. I've been studying for the CCNA, the Network Plus. So now it goes to switching and routing. So Cisco, Juniper Networks, HPE, and Aruba. So never even looked at HPE or Aruba. Okay with Cisco. Now we get to servers. I don't know shit about servers yet. So just being 100% transparent with you to, to let you know what these people are going to ask. Servers. Hardware. That one, you know, you can say you know however much. That, I don't think they're going to quiz you that much. Windows Server, Mac OS Server, Linux Server, Exchange, Hyper-V, VMware, VMware vSphere, Domain Controllers, Active Directory, DNS, DHCP, RAID configuration. Um, so the main one here he said is, well, he said I need to like get familiar with all servers. 
and Active Directory. And I, I told them, I'm like, if it has a GUI, like a graphical user interface, I can pretty much figure it out. But having experience and like literal experience, it doesn't, I don't think he would, he didn't really care what, he didn't even ask about my other jobs. He didn't even care. He was literally asking like, do you know how to do this stuff? And I, I don't. Could I figure it out pretty easy? Yeah. And he kind of kept it open. He said, in a couple years, if you if you know this stuff, reach out to me. And let me know. So I'm like, okay. But I'm a little overwhelmed because I thought my networking knowledge was maybe a 3 out of 10. Now I'm thinking it's a 1 out of 10. So on to the next subject. Firewalls. Sonic Wall, Cisco, FortiGate, Palo Alto Networks, WatchGuard, FireEye. Cyber Roam, PF Sense, Microtech. I've never even heard of some of those. Like I said, those are probably GUIs. They're probably, you know, you could probably just open a program and figure it out. But I don't have experience in them. So, you know, on the 1 to 10, I could get all of these up to like a 4 in a couple months, you know. So, not totally hopeless. It was a good interview. Like I said, the guy liked me. I feel like I learned what I'm lacking but he ended, he ended up telling me like hey you just don't have the experience like he's like it seems like you have you know a good brain for it he didn't say it like that a good mind for it I think he said he's like you you did solve the troubleshooting questions but you just don't have the experience and I don't think you'll be able to do what we do here how can I disagree with that I, I, I can't I can't do what they're doing honestly you know, with, with a year of training, maybe I could be up to speed, but yeah, I just don't have this stuff. Then um, goes over email, setting up emails, spam virus filtering, that stuff. It's like, yeah. Spam filtering with App River, Barracuda, Mimecast, Proofpoint, Semantic. Never heard of them. Antivirus and malware section. Microsoft Cert Security Essentials, Sophos, Semantic Endpoint. Um, Vipri, identifying virus behaviors, virus cleaning, then cloud-based services, Office 365, AWS, blah, blah, blah. I'm just telling you this because, like, I didn't know this shit, man. Like, I'm going to be honest. Then wireless, there was Ruckus. Never heard of Ruckus. Um, also Cisco Apple. Okay, I don't want to get on, but it, there's, like, many more. So I had to rate myself on these, and then in the interview, he basically went over each and was like, what'd you do here? What'd you do here? Thankfully, I didn't lie on any of them, you know, at least the ones that I was like, oh, I have like a one or two, I've just looked it up. And I was honest, I was like, yeah, I've just looked it up, watched a tutorial before, then uh, limited use ones, I, you know, I did some classroom training on it, but... At the end of the day, I just didn't have the experience. And it's it's hard because there's a billion different programs to learn. So, you know, I got my J, JNCIA, I'm working on my CCNA, Network Plus, but at the end of the day, there's just a lot to learn. So, I wouldn't say I'm disappointed. Obviously, I wanted the job, but at the same time, I want a job that I cannot do yet. So, I've got a lot to learn gonna try to learn it with y'all but just know when people say just get your ccna it's not all happy go lucky you're gonna get a job you gotta know at least i think the first few things i'm probably gonna work on active directory um probably some of the servers and linux i'm gonna start with that so yeah keep me updated how did your first interview go mine didn't go that great <laughs>